In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensor in this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. Remove this cover. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these plastic nuts off. Grab the cover, slide it down. You can see where this O2 sensor is connected right here. You want to slide this out, just like that. Push down on the connector. And disconnect it. You can see where the wire is clipped in. You want to slide it out with those clips. It's going to go behind the shield. Just grab the wire and slide it out so that it's loose. Then we're going to lower the vehicle and get the O2 sensor from up top. Now I'm going to use a 22 millimeter O2 sensor socket and a ratchet. I'll slide it over the O2 sensor and loosen it up. Once it's loose, you should be able to do it by hand. And just twist it out. And it slides right out. Just pull the wire up. Just be careful. And it slides right out. Take the O2 sensor. You want to run the wire down below as best as you can. be able to get that from underneath later. And line the O2 sensor up. Get it started. Keep untangling the wire. That's snug. Now tighten this down. If you can fit a torque wrench in there, you want to torque the O2 sensor to 36 foot-pounds. Take the wiring harness and connector. You want to slide that in the correct way behind that shield. Make sure it's out of the way of the exhaust. You don't want it anywhere near the exhaust. Try to get it lined up with all the clips. Put the clips in. And maybe a little extra slack, and that's okay. You can go a little further down. back. And we're going to connect the connector. Line this up. Lock it in place. Slide the 
connector into the bracket. Slip in right there, just like that. It's gonna go right there. Line that up with the studs. Snug those down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.